With the advance of mathematics the need for an efficient mathematical computation sprang up. Johann Bacchus took a step in designing a language that could solve complex mathematical formulae efficiently. Hence the formula translator, Fortran. The first version of Fortran was released in 1957. Fortran is, for better or worse, the only major language out there specifically designed for scientific numerical computing. It is a first-generation imperative programming language. Its main focus is in numeric computing and scientific computing. We are going to emphasize on the use of Fortran in science field, and what are the significances of it compared to some other programming languages such as Java and C. Why Fortran is so important in scientific computation Fortran is what a lot of scientists have been taught with, and a lot of libraries they need are implemented in it. A number of them might not be computer scientists or IT people, more computational scientists. Their primary goal is rarely computing, it's their science first. While a large number of programmers would have a tendency to learn a new programming language or framework whenever they get a chance, including during their spare time, most scientists would use that time exploring new ideas regarding their science. We have identified some reasons, why Fortran is mostly used in the fields of science. First, I will give you a briefing. First of all, Fortran is science-oriented language built for science. It has built-in complex arithmetic. Fortran's array index ranges may start and end at an arbitrary integer. There are many Fortran-specific array functions. Fortran seems to be having some powerful input and output routines. For an example, some are better than C or Java. Also Fortran 90 supports automatic selection of numeric data types having a specified precision and range. Fortran extensions for parallel programming are standardized by the high-performance Fortran HPF, consortium. And, Fortran is used in quantum computing, because the language is optimized to have a high performance. Why Fortran is science-oriented? The variable dimension array arguments are in subroutines. It has a rich set of useful generic precision intrinsic functions like, adjust string to the left, adjust L, adjust string to the right, adjust R, kind, selected int kind, and selected real kind. The first returns the kind of the actual argument, which can be of the type integer, real, complex, logical or character. The argument x does not have to be assigned any value. The second returns an integer kind with the requested number of digits, and the third returns the kind for floating point numbers with numerical precision at least p digits and one decimal exponent range between minus r and plus r. The parameters p and r must be scalar integers. At least one of p and r must be given. Also Fortran has built in complex mathematics. It is implement by some predefined, powerful functions. Epsilon the least positive number that added to 1, returns a number that is greater than 1. Huge, the largest positive number. Max exponent, the largest exponent. Min exponent, the smallest exponent. Precision, the decimal precision. Radix, the base in the model. Tiny, the smallest positive number. Also, some other functions like, fraction. Nearest. RR spacing Scale Set exponent Spacing When coming to arrays, Fortran has got some specific array functions. MaxVal Returns the largest value in the array. MinVal Returns the smallest value in the array. Product Returns the product of all the elements in the array, and, sum, returns the sum of all the elements in the array. If we want to implement those functions in C or Java, we have to write few lines of code. 
but Fortran made that easy by just calling a function. This easy way of programming made Fortran lead in the field of science. Fortran have better input-output routines, better than C and Java. Almost all Fortran 77 programs read data from external sources such as files or the user's terminal, perform calculations on that data, and then write the results to other files or the terminal. Fortran 77 provides a powerful and flexible set of features for reading and writing data, which are independent of the underlying operating system. What is the unit number in Fortran? Every input or output device is identified by a small, positive integer known as the unit number. These unit numbers are used in read and write statements to indicate the source or destination for the operation. Two of these numbers are always predefined at the start of every Fortran 77 program, Unit 5 corresponds to standard input, which is often the user's terminal, and Unit 6 corresponds to standard output, which is also often the terminal but may be another device, such as a printer. This example reads a single integer value from standard input and writes it to standard output. Unit numbers must be used when reading from or writing to external files. However, when using the standard pre-connected input-output devices, the unit number may be replaced by an asterisk. Although in Java, the inputs are taken by Java IO Input Stream and Java Util Scanner. And to read files, scanner, in file. It is not much optimized as Fortran SUC. See the file reading and writing in Fortran. The open command is used as this. Form argument is used whether the file is to be used for formatted, plain text, or unformatted. Formatted or unformatted. No other values are allowed. The default is formatted. Access, is used whether the file is to be used for sequential or random input-output. Scratch, temp, files. Fortran 77 provides an easy way to open a temporary file to act as scratch storage for a program. Unit number 8 will be associated with a temporary unnamed file which can be used for input-output, in exactly the same way as any other file. However, after the file is closed, or if the program terminates without explicitly closing the file, the scratch file will be deleted automatically by the Fortran 77 input-output subsystem. Fortran is a performance-oriented language. Fortran 77 lacks explicit pointers, which is one reason that it is more amenable to automatic code optimization. Fortran was designed to permit static storage allocation, saving the time spent on creating and destroying activation records on the stack every procedure call and return. Fortran implementations may pass all variables by reference, the fastest method. But we all know that C and Java and other most popular languages have this feature, but they promote the pass-by-value method. Fortran disallows aliasing of arguments in procedure call statements. And, all passed argument lists must have distinct entries. Fortran disallows also aliasing between common, global, variables and dummy arguments. These restrictions allows better compiler optimizations in Fortran code other than our well-familiar languages like C and Java. Watch this example on Fortran, how it is used, and why. Welcome to Colfax Research. We're going to demonstrate the acceleration of computational fluid dynamics with Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors. In this example, you're looking at a shallow water flow solver at work. Calculations of this kind are used in weather and climate sciences, and in hydraulic engineering to model the behavior of water basins in the Earth's atmosphere. The code is now running on an Intel Xeon processor with a total of 28 cores. Now we will add to the system two Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors. Each coprocessor has 61 active cores and features the Intel Mini integrated core architecture. With the, the most important aspect of this demonstration is that the executable for the CPU and the executable for the Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors were compiled from exactly this code is written in Fortran with OpenMP and MPI and is optimized for parallel architectures.
Fortran 77 tends to be easier for non-experts to learn than C, because its mental model of the computer is much simpler. For example, in Fortran 77 the programmer can generally avoid learning about pointers and memory addresses, while these are essential in C. More generally, in Fortran 77 the difference between variable X, ampersand X, and often even pointer X is basically hidden, while in C it's exposed. Consequently, Fortran 77 is a much simpler language for people who are not experts at computer internals. This is one of the main reasons that scientists like Fortran. Because scientists don't have time to sit and learn how to code, while they have other science stuff to spend time with. Fortran in Parallel Computing Fortran 90 has another major advantage over C or C++. Modern scientific computing, and computing in general, is moving toward the use of parallel computers. Even PCs and workstations now come with multiple processors, so parallelism is something that everyone from an accountant to a physicist is encountering now. A major problem in programming parallel computers however is, the linear memory model, that is inherent to all procedural programming languages, with the singular exception of Fortran 90. A linear memory model is one that assumes that consecutive elements of an array are consecutive in memory. This was a reasonable assumption on traditional computers, but it is completely incorrect on a parallel computer. Only Fortran 90 has addressed this problem in providing standardized language support for parallelism. This support includes array syntax and many intrinsics for doing array operations varying from reduction operations such as array sums to matrix operations. The fact that Fortran 90 moved away from a linear memory model is the main reason that it has become the base for so many data parallel languages such as Vienna Fortran, Fortran D, Craft, and High Performance Fortran. Now, let's see how Fortran work with GPU processing. First, what is GPU processing? GPU or graphics processing unit is a special kind of processor, which is dedicated for fast memory access, and fast parallel processing. When our main processor overloads, we can send some processes to the GPU to process. GPU has a large number of cores, while a processor has few cores. To demonstrate the Fortran parallel computing capabilities, we will stimulate 1D stencil. In brief, this algorithm sums up three elements to the right, and three elements to the left, from a given element, and put the sum in a new array. This is the serial code in Fortran 90. The instructions run one after the other. This is the parallel algorithm. The code for this can be written in two ways, using Fortran 1 using Fortran 90, and other using CUDA Fortran. From this example, we can see how easy the Fortran is, when programming in parallel, to the GPU. This is because, almost all the procedures and functions are implemented. So it is obvious that Fortran is the best language for programming science scenarios. Also, Implementing GPU processing in C or Java is bit difficult compared to Fortran. Also, Fortran is used to compute in quantum computing. As of this example... Let, let me briefly describe the difference between a quantum computer and a regular computer at some level. In a regular computer you've got ones and zeros, which you store in binary form and you manipulate them and they... Uh, uh, do calculations, you can store them, for example, by in, in, in a way that's, uh, that at least I can argue simply. Let's say you have an elementary particle that's spinning. If it's spinning, and, and that we, we say it's spinning is pointing up or down, depending upon whether it's spinning this way or this way, pointing up or down. And so I can store the information by having lots of particles and some of them spinning up and some of them spinning down, right? Ones and zeros. But in the quantum world, it turns out that particles like electrons are actually spinning in all directions at the same time. One of the weird aspects of quantum mechanics. We may measure, by doing a measurement of an electron, 
find it spinning this way. But before we did the measurement, it was spinning this way and this way and that way and that way all at the same time. Sounds crazy, but true. Now, that means if the electron's spinning in many different directions at the same time, if we don't actually measure it, it can be doing many computations at the same time. And so a quantum computer is based on manipulating the state of particles like electrons so that during the calculation, many different calculations are being performed at the same time and only making a measurement at the end of the computation. So we exploit that fact of quantum mechanics that particles can do many things at the same time to do many computations at the same time. And that's what would make a quantum computer so powerful. So, it is obvious that, for such fast computing, Fortran is used. We all know, for quantum computing it is difficult to use C or Java. C or C family language may be used. But in our opinion, for quantum computing, programming from Java is difficult. Before conclude the discussion, in our opinion, we can say that, Fortran is still, the best programming language, that can use in science field. Much of my work has come from being lazy. I didn't like writing programs, and so, when I was working on the IBM 701, writing programs for computing missile trajectories, I started work on a programming system to make it easier to write programs.